Uh, welcome everyone, it's Andrew Algorithmic Trading Tool Strategies and uh, as usual uh, my view uh, about the market at the end of the week uh, as uh, what we're gonna have now that's exactly the same situation as we had like previous week uh, my uh, previous video I expected because of the war uh, escalation on the Middle East I expected it will be quite uh, uh, decent correction and uh, because also there is uh, option expiration is very close already so from the time when the the, uh, the price should move down because uh, uh, lots of uh, traders betting on all-time highs and uh, just commenting so I'm uh, like wrong in my forecast so what I will share you is my uh, comments about what's going on in the market as you can see we have uh, uh, this wedge pattern and uh, previously we had uh, like a double zigzagging uh, move down so this is exactly absolutely equal to the, it's, uh, the, to the, it's the legs and I expect that we could make here that it's exactly the same leg down. In this case, if it will happen, then the price will manage to uh, stabilize and uh, make some kind of a, uh, this a temporarily bottom could uh, uh, could be another leg up. But what we're gonna have here, we have a here uh, that's hanging man and why it's happened because of uh, uh, labor data uh, uh, Friday it was uh, non-farm payroll came quite a uh, big improvement but uh, what are really interesting so there is October its maximum if you go back to the October it was pretty big maximum was the higher than expectation so it's exactly the same and what we had after after we had the second november and december there's a lot worse and it's this uh, way will be even more worse because you know that was actually uh price oh sorry price uh, the numbers less when we had in october previous year so we can see it's a truly degradation of the market and um, the labor market conditions and um, that's uh, very bad numbers are coming uh, back but what's really interesting uh, the behavior of the traders so uh, look at the chat now so exactly the same SP500 but uh, 30 minutes and uh, we can have almost uh, that's the price jumped up and they fill the gap exactly this filled the gap and the previously we had uh, lots of uh, up and down up and down it's very very choppy trade and uh, eventually uh, it's alga they moved the price up so if we just even zoom uh, 10 minutes you can see that it's typical so it's the end of uh, the uh, day this is a classical alga trading and they push the price up to this level so oil price keep moving up and up and here it's kind of a, uh, a resistance and it's happened from the be beginning of the conflict in advance so we'll see how that's the uh, the situation will escalate from my view if we have here this uh, really substantial it's a price drop it means uh, that i don't know who but they're trying to you know let's stabilize so temporarily they dropped uh, the oil prices before the spike up on uh, that's the rocket attack of uh, uh, oil uh, facilities in Iran so this will be definitely will spike up but before it they're gonna to push the price uh, down to minimize effect on the market uh, also what's about the, my forecast 
uh, on this week, finally, on my loving it's a uh, tier and grid uh, the indicator, we finally it's the uh, reached extreme grid. You know, we're always a market uh, the moving direction when it's uh, reaching extreme grid point. And we reached that uh, last week, so you should worry about the bulls. That's bad signal. A uh, year ago, the situation was there. The situation was absolutely uh, different. It was the somewhere uh, near the fear uh, and close to extreme fear. So the markets uh, corrected up because of the opposite situation. As for the same time put and call option, uh, look, they, uh, they reached a super uh, uh, low. Uh, it means there are lots of uh, traders betting on uh, the purchase of the calls. So the institution has sold the call, so they need to uh, re re reverse the price, otherwise they will lose lots of money. And uh, volatility, it was like below the 200, uh, below 50 days moving average. And let's see what's going on now. We have a slightly less, uh, it's the uh, level, it's uh, on... Uh, uh, grid, not extreme grid, but we reached extreme grid. And what's really interesting, so look, uh, uh, it's from a 65, now it's options, call to 70. It means the option price already turned into operator to the uh, direction to the diet, so means for the market predicting it's going to the downside. And it's also, it's all uh, happened uh, the previous time, like you see, this is the 23rd of August, and uh, the price uh, 28th of August already on that uh, numbers uh, higher than the bottom of the put call. So look there, uh, see what's going on in the market. I get to here, and we'll see the 23rd, and the 3rd, so right, right uh, here. Look, there's a right here. What's happened after? Quite decent move down the price when the option trade options already predicted in advance. So the price still is on the, was on the top, but options already changed the numbers. Look, you see here to here. And look, so we have it's exactly the same. So that's uh, I expecting uh, we can uh, correct uh, down. And remember, there is uh, my loving uh, Fibonacci time uh, line. So look this. And the second one, I just jump to the one uh, day. We have uh, this timeline 9 of October. So it should be like next uh, uh, week. When the price uh, uh, should change 100% direction because option expiration day. And it's the expiration happened, you know, it's uh, Friday, 18th eight, uh, of October. And uh, what uh, uh, was the previous uh, cycle? So this uh, 2022. And uh, if we draw time zone, so there is a one bottom, second bottom. Look, uh, that's uh, sec uh, this first, second, third line uh, exactly uh, pointed to the, the change in, in the price of so a price to move to really substantial move down. And the uh, option came to the uh, fourth line. Of the time zone, and see, so there is another one that comes to this another bottom, like perfectly uh, pointing to the uh, uh, bottom. In comparison with what we have right now, situation uh, we have um, uh, option expiration here, the first, and uh, in November, there's, there's another. Uh, option expiration uh, the third of uh, Friday of the month. So look, uh, this one and this in our one. So it could be this similar. The story happened again, and um, we are uh, very close. So I means still, it's I am expecting uh, we're at the turning point. 
and also what uh, could be uh, if we measure of a reversal. So uh, that's uh, Fibonacci retracement. We'll see the previously the price sits exactly uh, 50%. And if we break this, very important, if we break this line, uh, we can have a continuation. So it's maybe a, we can move uh, to uh, down to the 50 and everybody will wait and hear this just like a support line. We'll break it, uh, reverse, we'll check, let's test this line. And... Uh, will be quite a big uh, it's a dive to the option expiration that means to the uh, middle of the week also you should take into account this uh, cyclical pattern which the slim channel uh, really so it's a slim channel uh, it's made it's really good it's the work and explaining own channel so you can go like it's asked be slim and uh, yes yeah, it's, the, it's the find more information explanation but here the cyclical so the many cycles come together it's the accelerating its end of the when we put these cycles together and that's this kind of acceleration and that's it's really it's also election day you should worry about it so selection day and it could be a really big uh, downturn my view we just you know they start in pretty uh, heavy downside cycle uh, also uh, you should uh, take into account proportion between uh, it's a loving uh, Warren Buffett indicator about the volume of the uh, GDP uh, and the volume of the SP500 so the proportion now it's more than 200 uh, from my estimation and the others so it's a lot higher than we had a dot-com bust uh, or uh, we have uh, we had before uh, like a GFC uh, 2008 a lot higher proportion so it's huge disproportional the, between the debt and uh, the prices of the uh, assets but again it's uh, right now it's a big escalation on the Middle East could uh, change the picture uh, very quickly and uh, story on the top is not and the combination you know it's all not really uh, positive for the uh, bulls especially if we switch to the weekly chart and we can see here see there is a green uh, big uh, smaller 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 looks like already exhaustion and as, as you see this here, this also big, small, smaller, smaller, smaller body of a candle and booms down. And it could be the same story. I think it's will happen here, but here in one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So after four, we can have its big candle down. And I think because of a lots of the cycles, because of a lots of the, uh, the tensions, because of a lots of unprediction situation, especially uh, the election, and uh, that could uh, generate a lot deeper the part that's uh, move down to this that eventually sooner or later yeah we will we'll touch this line and we'll break it maybe like could be the same correction and we'll come to that line the, the red one always so that's this is my prediction maybe it's so uh, steep or maybe we'll come to here uh at the end of the year but we will come to here so there is a market crash 2024 i'm not really going to change my uh that's uh, topic of every video i'm still uh expecting it's, it could happen so there's uh some my uh watchers they're saying i'm mean, it's wrong 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 but you know it's we you can say i'm wrong at the end of the year because previously 2021 i predicted so 22 will be big uh, down uh, move and it's happened so every a whole 21 uh 20 it's, it's a year of uh, 2021 i predicted it will be big 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 
the move down which is uh, really a half of the movement up will uh, negate you know just wipe it out and uh, the same story right now it's it happened you know that whatever if it's the end of the year will come to here this all my prediction will be uh, with positive outcome in comparison with the uh, uh, bulls who predicting like 6,000 or 7,000 and telling I'm wrong. So you see what's going on, but now the situation, as you can see, and I explain what's uh, going on, not really good for the uh, bulls and the risk. Okay, you could be like a temporarily one week winner, but again, you're taking the risk so high with a reward. So come on, it's what's the reward. A little bit pips up. So this is it. Hope uh, you can look at the um, let's watch my video. I'll look at the data which I shared, and we'll see what's going on in the next week. But they are coming very crucial weeks, especially uh, the options already turned uh, that's towards the downs, towards the pointing. So the market will go down, not the up. And that's uh, I demonstrated on the options uh, proportion between options put and calls. Okay. I wish you the best trades and uh, see you next week on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, share your channel with your friends. And if you're thinking about a travel to Australia, uh, make your plans and uh, book the tours in Australia. All the best. Bye.